We can define the relationship between two waves by looking at either their phase difference or their path difference. In this video, we're just going to focus on path difference. But if you want to learn a little bit more about phase difference, you can check out my previous video. I'll leave a link in the description below. Path difference describes the uh, difference in distance between the routes taken by two waves. If we have a look at these two waves here, the bottom wave is one whole wavelength ahead of the top wave. Their path difference is therefore a whole wavelength. If they now overlap with each other, or we say that they superpose or interfere, each point on the waves will add up to produce a resultant wave that has a larger amplitude. When the waves add together to give us a bigger wave, the situation is called constructive interference. In a different situation, we now have two waves, which are only half a wavelength apart. So we say that their path difference is just half a wavelength. When they superpose, the crests of this wave align with the troughs of the bottom wave. If I take these two points, they add up to zero. They cancel each other out to give us what's known as destructive interference. So here we have two types of interference, constructive and destructive. Now let's generalize this mathematically. We can get constructive interference when the path difference is equal to n times the wavelength, where n, we say it's a whole number. We are always going to get constructive interference, whether the path difference is one whole wavelength, two times the wavelength, three times, or so on, as long as it's a whole number. But for destructive interference, the path difference has to be n plus a half times the wavelength, where n is still a whole number. So when n is zero, the path difference is just half a wavelength. But when n is one, the path difference is one and a half the wavelength. When n is two, the path difference is two and a half wavelength. The fraction one over two in the brackets ensures destructive interference. Understanding constructive and destructive interference is essential to learning about single slits, Young's double slits, and also the diffraction grating experiments. So be sure to remember the difference between constructive and destructive interference, both descriptively and numerically. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more physics.